Aloha everyone, this is Amy from Pacific Historic Parks and I wanted to do a quick demonstration of how you can reserve your free movie and boat ticket to the USS Arizona Memorial. The process can be tricky to understand so hopefully this video helps answer all of your questions. First, we'll start off by going to recreation.gov and you're going to search for Pearl Harbor in the search bar. Click on the first choice, and that's this Pearl Harbor Historic Sites, USS Arizona, and you'll be taken to the Pearl Harbor National Memorial Tour site. All of the tours on this site are approved by the National Park Service, and if you do happen to purchase an additional tour along with your free movie and boat ticket, 100% of the proceeds will go back to support the USS Arizona Memorial and National Park Service. We'll start here at Tours. So when you click on tours, you'll see five items listed on the drop down menu. No advanced reservations for this date, which you can ignore. USS Arizona Memorial, USS Arizona Memorial plus the narrated headset, USS Arizona Memorial plus passport package, and USS Arizona Memorial Deluxe Tour. All four of these tours include the free movie and boat ticket. So a couple of things to note is that when you reserve any of these tours from recreation.gov, you will be charged a $1 service fee per person. This includes the USS Arizona Memorial, which is the movie, the free movie and boat ticket. However, if you decide to walk in on the day of your visit for your movie and boat ticket, there will be no $1 service fee. Also, please be aware that all of these tickets, including the service fee, are non-refundable. So the first selection is the USS Arizona Memorial, which is the free movie and boat ticket. So for those of you who just want to reserve this ticket, this is what you'll select. As a reminder, you will have to pay that $1 service fee even if you're reserving just this ticket. The second, third, and fourth options are all free movie and boat tickets plus National Park Service approved tours, which you see following USS Arizona Memorial. So if you'd like to directly support Pearl Harbor National Memorial and the National Park Service, these three are a great way to do it. The second selection is the narrated tour, which is our recommended tour for $7.50. That includes firsthand accounts from actual USS Arizona and Pearl Harbor survivors, witnesses, friends, and family members. Since you won't have a tour guide at Pearl Harbor National Memorial, this is a great tool to have with you, especially inside the USS Arizona Memorial as the narration will indicate points of interest, history, backstories, and plenty of extra details and information approved by National Park Service historians. The third selection is the USS Arizona Memorial Plus Passport Package, which is an all-inclusive ticket to all four of the historical sites for $72. The passport package includes Pearl Harbor National Memorial's narrated tour and virtual reality center, admission to the USS Bolfin Submarine Museum and Park, admission to the USS Missouri, and admission to the Pearl, Har the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. The fourth option is the USS Arizona Memorial Deluxe Tour, which is an upgraded version of our narrated tour right here. So in addition to the narrated tour, you'll have exclusive access via smartphone to the National Park Service World War II archives and videos on the attack at Pearl Harbor plus admission to the Virtual Reality Center. So once you've decided on your tour, I'm gonna go with this one. Go ahead and choose the number of guests. Let's go with two. And don't forget that you will pay a $1 service fee per person. And then you can go ahead and select your date and your time, okay? Now here is the tricky part. So tickets are available three times, 60 days in advance, one day in advance, and the day of your visit. So the first day is, uh, let's see, so every day roughly 300 movie and boat tickets to the memorial are placed online 60 days in advance at recreation.gov. This means that on September 27th, 2019, 7 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, Roughly 300 tickets will be available for those who want to visit on November 26, 2019. So today is the 27th of September. 
If I count 60 days in the future, on November 26, this is gonna be when the first tickets are uploaded. So you'll see that there are plenty of tickets available. However, if I were to go to November 27th, which would be 61 days, you'll see that none of them have been released yet. All right? Okay, so just to give you one more look at it, 60 days in advance, there are tickets available. However, 61 days in advance, tickets are not available. These will be released tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, okay? And also, just as a reminder, keep in mind that these are uploaded 60 days in advance, not two months in advance. So you'll have to count the days carefully. The second upload is every day roughly 500 additional movie and boat tickets to the memorial are placed online one day in advance at recreation.gov. This means that on September 27th, which is today, you can see that none are available for today because all the tickets that are left are the walk-up tickets that they're handing out at the park. You can buy tomorrow. Okay, so these are, there's roughly 500 being uploaded. Okay, and you can see that all the 11 a.m. is sold out already. So these were all uploaded, 7 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. And uh, today is the September 27th, 9.20 a.m. So roughly about two and a half hours ago, all of these tickets were uploaded, 11 a.m. sold out. All right. Finally, every day, roughly 1,300 walk-up tickets are available first come, first served to Pearl Harbor National Memorial visitors. So because of these limited ticket uploads, you'll see in the time drop-down box that some tickets are available, some are not available, some are sold out. If we choose a random day in the future, you can see some are not yet released, and you'll also see walk-up only tickets. This is uh, what I've been explaining about all the notations that are next to the times. So what you're gonna be doing is based on if you're buying 60 days in advance, one day in advance, uh, you'll look for the tickets that say available. So October 1st and September 28th. So September 28th, which is tomorrow for me, has still many tickets available, okay? So once you've decided on your tour, your number of guests, the date and the time, you can go ahead and click on the continue to booking button. So let's pretend that I'm gonna go for this. Click on the continue to booking button. You will be prompted to create a login if you don't have an account on recreation.gov yet. After you've created an account and confirmed it via email, you'll be able to complete your reservation like any other online checkout. Okay, so I hope this makes planning your trip to Pearl Harbor National Memorial easier and answers a lot of your questions. We love what we do here at Pacific Historic Parks in our mission of supporting educational and interpretive programs, research, preservation, and restoration at the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. If you have any questions, please visit us at pearlharborvisitorcenter.org. Thank you.